Good morning. Welcome to the December 5th, uh, 2018 Walton County Technical Review Committee meeting. Uh, appreciate your patience and waiting for us to get ready to start. Um, I don't think we have any minutes this morning to review. Uh, do we have any other announcements? Other than, and I'll just repeat this for our audience, um, for those of you that know, bear with me. Uh, for those of you that don't know, uh, Walton County Planning and Development Services, including uh, code enforcement, uh, has moved from this building to a new facility in Freeport. Uh, we've also moved our North Walton Planning Office to the new facility in Freeport. Uh, it's at 842 County Highway 20 West, uh, immediately west of the intersection of US 331 and uh, Highway 20. Um, got a nice new facility. We expect our level of service to increase. Um, and we invite everybody to come by and, and visit us if you haven't already. Um, we've had uh, quite a bit of traffic already this week. This week is our first week opening there. Uh, we've got everything moved there. We're not sure where it is inside the building, but uh, it's warm and dry this morning. So um, we'll get in all that that sorted out in the coming weeks. Um, if there are no other announcements, we'll move right into project review. Uh, first item on our agenda this morning is the PCH office building, um, reviewed by Bob Barante. Bob, if you could briefly introduce it to the board. Yes, Mr. Chair. This is a minor development or application submitted by Curtis Smith on behalf of Peach Creek Holdings. I'm requesting to construct a 3,250 square foot two-story office building on 0.29 acres. It's located at 45 Marie Drive. The current future land use is mixed village mixed use, and the parcel numbers are identified in your in your staff report. Um, you re may remember this came before your, uh, the board before. It's been changed and Curtis is here to go through the changes. Um, there are no major outstanding comments on the um, on, on this project, so Curtis will introduce it to you. Did we get our engineer interview comments? Um, this one, we got the engineer. I sent it out already um, and public works comment and it was sent out. <coughs> Curtis Smith, Nautilus of Engineers. Um, just like Bob said, I don't believe we had any actual technical comments to address on this second submittal, so I believe we're good to go. I'll make one correction what Bob said. We had to decrease the square footage uh, down from 3,200 to 2,500 with the redesign, so for parking purposes. Other than that, I think we're good to go. I did actually, I have one question for Sammy. Um, there was a note, it didn't look like it needed addressed, but there was a note that said space listed as one in the site plan shall be dedicated turnaround for emergency apparatus. I don't have anything listed as one. I'm not sure what space that was referring to. In the plans that submitted, it had a uh, one on the plans. We can talk offline. Did it? Okay, yeah, let's do that. Okay. Any other questions for Medias? Um, this will be, this is a minor development, which means it will not go to planning commission and board of county commissioners. It'll go to development order as soon as comments are satisfied. Um, as a result, this will be final agency action. Uh, so we're going to take the opportunity to open a public hearing to invite any public comment on this particular development. Uh, is there anyone in the audience that wishes to make a public comment related to this application? Uh, seeing none, we'll close the public hearing. Uh, do we have a recommended motion, Bob? Yes, Mr. Chair. I'd like to make a recommendation to conditionally approve pending successful resubmittal and DO issue. We have a motion to dash. Motion. Second. We have a motion and a second. Um, any further discussion? All in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed, likewise? Uh, motion carried. This item is conditionally approved. 
That brings us to item number two, the Southeast Storage. Uh, this one has also been reviewed by Bob Berantes. Bob, if you could briefly introduce it for us. Yes, Mr. Chair. Mr. Chair, I forgot to mention um, <coughs> before the PCH, I'd like to thank all the applicants because these should have gone in October, but they were very patient with me with the hurricane, and I really appreciate them working as a team to permit them to be moved till today. Um, Southeast Storage, this is a minor development order application submitted by Construction <coughs> Design Management Incorporated on behalf of Zach and Luke Williams. They're requesting to approve to develop a three-story, 4,800, 375 square foot, including 355 self-storage units on 4.01 plus or minus acres with a future land use of coastal center mixed use. Um, we are, um, I need the fire review, I haven't received it yet, and um, the engineering review has, I have gotten the engineering review, and on, I correction, on this one I had the fire district one, so it's all on there. So I'd like to turn it over to the, um, to the um, applicant. Hi, I'm Tanya Nation with AFCON. I'm here to answer any questions you might have. Uh, and just, I just wanted to let you know that this, this is there today, there are three mini storage facilities on this property. So we will be adding the three story building to this. And um, this will include a lot of improvements along Highway 98 to improve its, its curb appeal and, and make it in compliance with the scenic corridor requirements. Um, are you familiar with the engineering comments in the staff report? Yes, we have uh, reviewed the engineering comments. They were pretty minor, and um, we have reached out to some of the reviewers just to make sure that we had clarification on any items that uh, we were unclear on. There was one environmental comment that um, we've got a phone call into the environmental reviewer on just, as a, just to get clarification on. <coughs> Most of them were fairly minor. One where we had um, environmental commented that we have wetlands and there are no wetlands shown on the site plan. Uh, th we did, um, there, there, the plans that will be revised to show there is uh, 0.13 acres of wetlands on the property that are going to be filled. Uh, dredge and fill permit has been submitted to both the Corps and um, the and the Water Management District. Uh, we have spoken with both the Corps and the Water Management District. They're isolated and um, they, because the um, state has, they severed jurisdiction and they've created the small pocket because of the drainage pipe that the DOT installed for the Highway 98 improvements. Both the district and the Corps have said that um, the, the, the wetland impacts are likely to be considered de minimis but we have not received official um, official determination from them. It's, they said that it will take about 21 days to get that. And we're, we're about halfway through that. Um, the gated entrance um, said that from public right away from 100 feet. Yes. We to address that? We, yes, we will definitely address that. Um, are we gonna be able to successfully address that on the south side? Doesn't look like you have a lot of room there from the right away. On the south side, um, the intention was to leave the existing gate that is there, because um, that is an existing fence and gate. We were providing, we were going to provide some improvements just so they can have better access. Um, but the, the intention was to keep that there. So that's something that we will have to um, discuss offline about. Um, that will be an issue once we get to BRB. Okay. So that, that's probably going to require modification. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. On the south side, that would be on for Highway 98. 98. Side. That side would be okay. It's on, I'm sorry, I was thinking of the north side. The existing fence, that, that is the one that, um, that's on the north <coughs> side that, that is on the Forest Shore Drive side. That would be, we, we were not planning on relocating that gate, <coughs> but we can modify the gate location. 
for um, for the other one. And we'll just have to get creative with the with the site plan. Um, so it's going to require some amount of site plan revision. It may require some site plan revisions. Just make sure that the gate goes through our office for review, please. Yes. Actually, it is, oh, it, it's already, I'm sorry, I was just looking at this. The gate is already, um, the, it's already, the building depth is 75 feet, the parking stalls are 20, and then we have a drive aisle that is 24, so it exceeds 100 feet. The gate access does on the south side. I'm sorry, I was just looking at that. It is, um, it, it's in line with the south, or the uh, north, west corner of the building. And then we also have a 25 foot setback that we have as well. So you can see the, so you've got um, 25, 24, 20, and then 75 before we get to the gate. Uh, maybe I'm just not looking at this correctly. We got 100 feet between the US 98 right of way and, and the, gate. the gate. Yes, sir. I have more than 100 feet, actually. We have. The gate's near the dumpster pad. Yeah, it's, it's close to the dumpster pad. Right. I saw the same thing when you, I was reviewing it. I can't get it to measure to be 100. Are we looking at the same thing? I'm talking about There's no gate in here. That's just a bench parking lot. That's just a, that's a highway right away. Right away. There is right there. Yeah. And then that's on Fort Shore Drive. Yeah, okay. but it still has to have some right there. Gates internal, Mr. Chair, on the one she's talking about. If you look on the, I guess it would be the bottom, or the top, I'm sorry. Can, Can I you come show me okay. where the gate is on this <laughs> small plan? So Thank that you. would not require any site plan revisions. Thank you for clarifying. Okay. <laughs> All right. Any other questions from the dyer? Uh, we have a recommended motion. Make a motion to recommend conditional approval pending successful complete uh, completion of resubmittal and move it for the DRB review. Uh, we have a recommended motion. We have a motion at the dais. Motion. Second. A second. We have a second. Um, this is a major development. It will have public hearings at Planning Commission and Board of County Commissioners. Uh, do we have any technical comments from any member of the audience at this time? Uh, hearing none, uh, we have a motion uh, all in favor, please say aye. Aye. Any opposed, likewise? Uh, this item is uh, conditionally approved to move forward to the design review board. Thank you, Bob. Uh, item number three, uh, we have a uh, an item that's been withdrawn, so we will move to item number four. Uh, Christ the King Episcopal Church Educational Building number two, small scale amendment. Uh, this has been reviewed by Bob Baranti. Uh, could you briefly introduce it? Thank you, Mr. Chair. Um, this is an application from Corps Engineering and Consulting on behalf of the Christ the King Episcopal Church. Um, the current future land use is conservation residential two to one. Um, they are asking for a future land use 
designation change on 9.79 acres from that conservation residential two to one to institutional. The parcel number is in your staff report. Um, I have no um, public objection and the on this staff report I'm missing um, fire department comments and um, engineering comments. But I can include those since it's the future land use I can include those on moving forward if, if the board wishes and um, we'll turn it over to the applicant to address it good morning Ed Stanford with core um, this appears to be uh, sort of a leftover piece that um, should probably have been changed years ago um, to institutional the Episcopal Church has owned this property since 1993 the uh, approximate 10 acres to the south is institutional and um, that was changed at some point in the past. Um, I think this is just a remnant. Um, the church wishes to expand their operation uh, and their um, Montessori school there. And in order to do that, we'd need to change this from the CR2 to 1 to institutional to be consistent with the other property that they own. So very straightforward uh, application, but here to answer any questions you may have. We will be applying for a development order um, probably after this meeting or shortly uh, following it. And I'll clarify on the engineering side. We, we submitted a letter and pretty small scale. It's, it's really just a preliminary traffic review. So we're good. Mm -hmm. Ed, are there any plans to improve the access to this property? The, the entrance? Yes, sir. Um, there will be if you have comments on it. So <laughs> that, that will handle that during the development order process. Well, I'm just, I'm just thinking of the future growth if it does become a uh, Sure. I'll tell you what facility. I'll do is um, after this meeting, I'll send you our preliminary conceptual site plan. And you know we might as well go in and handle that on the front end instead of Sounds going through good. TRC and having it come up during the development order process. OK. Uh, one of the things that will probably come up is we may want to line up the access um, so the driveways are Okay. On 393. Or that's a development order. Okay. Um, issue. Um, this is a small scale amendment. Um, it will go to the Planning Commission and Board of County Commissioners. <coughs> Do we have any technical comments from anybody in the audience this morning or questions? Uh, seeing none, uh, we'll move forward with a recommended motion. Mr. Chair, I'd like to make a motion. Um, to recommend moving this project forward to the Planning Commission for the first public hearing. Thank you, Bob. We got a motion, recommend a motion. We have a motion to die. Motion. And a second. Motion and a second. Um, any further discussion? All in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed, likewise. Motion approved. This item will move forward to Planning Commission for the next step of the review. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you, Bob. Uh, that brings us to item number five, Treasurer Trove Estates, phase one and two, request to approve by Brian Platt. It's also been reviewed by Bob Berlanti. Yes, Mr. Chair, this, this is a plat application submitted by Emerald Coast Associates. On behalf of NWF Development LLC, requesting to approve the plat of 52 single family lots on 18.75 plus or minus acres. Future land use of residential preservation is identified as the parcel number on your site plan. Um, I, um, I have the comments that I need for this. There are minor comments to be addressed. Um, the applicant is here to to address the plat, and I'll turn it over to him. Sean Humphrey, Emerald Coast Associates. Um, we'll address the comments, and we request to be put on the vote for BCC. Um, I have a question. The lot that's on the bay that shows up as part of the the uh, property appraiser parcel. 
lot 12 I think I'm not sure what number it is yeah. but um, was this part of the development order uh, I'm not sure yes mr. Yes, Chair. But the applicant has committed not to develop it, to leave it open. That was part of the, the negotiation. With, if you remember, this was kind of. I remember there being a yes. pointed discussion about that particular lot. They were going to plot it, but it was not, it was not going to be buildable. Um, it would stay basically the way it is or improve for recreation. Yeah, and it's not lot 12 that I'm talking okay. about. Um, is that lot included as part of this proposed plat? Uh, I'm not sure. Yes, lot it was. On the bay. Yes. seeing it on these two pages of the plat. Right, it doesn't appear to be on the plat. Um, we're not proposing to plat anything on the bay side. The reason the and GIS put that on is it was on the survey also is part of that parcel. Well, it's part of the owned parcel, but not part of the development but order that we approved. Can I, can I, it said on the plat there, it says phase three, no development proposed. It's on the top right corner. And that's where it, that's where it goes. You see across the road at the, at the cul-de-sac, which is really a dead end. It's, it's noted on the plat that there's no development. If this is going to be used by the development and for recreation, uh, this was a contentious item during the public hearings. Um, so if it's going to be available for use to the, by the folks that buy lots in this particular subdivision, we need to know about it and formalize that because okay. um, I expect code enforcement to hear about it given the strong opinions uh, voiced at the public hearing when this came through the technical review. Um, so um, we need that clarified. Okay. Yes, sir. Uh, other than that particular item, Bob, or does it meet all the requirements for planning? Uh, yes, Mr. Chair. Other than the comments that were expressed. I could change that to make them add it into a the formal note of 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 the plat to be a little bit more stand up, but that was part of the development order. If it says no development proposed, that means no use proposed. Yeah. It was to be vacant. Recommend a motion, Bob. Make a motion to conditionally approve pending successful resubmittal. Once the resubmittal has been accepted, we'll move to the Mylar and then at that point schedule the, the BCC meeting. Thank you, Bob. We have a recommended motion. We have a motion of the dais. Motion. Got a motion, we have a second? Second. Motion and a second, any further discussion? All in favor, please say aye. 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 Uh, any opposed, likewise? Uh, this item is conditionally approved to move to the next step. Okay, Bob, the next item is Santa Rosa Commerce Park, uh, request to approve a final order, and it's been reviewed by Bob Baranti. Um, Bob, if you can introduce this one for us. Yes, Mr. Chair. Um, I talked to the applicant about changing the name. The proper name should be Santa Rosa Commerce Park 
lot one um, to keep it con in con um, in coordination with the rest of the lots we've done in there. Um, it's a major development order application submitted by JP Engineering on behalf of R&M Properties Acquisition requesting approval to develop and construct an annex warehouse on 5.91 plus or minus acres with the future land use of village mixed use. The project is located on the northwest corner of US Highway 98 and Church Street and is identified by the parcel in your staff report. Um, I have engineer comments on this. I have no fire comments on it. Matthew Parker, JP Engineering. I'm just here to answer any questions and I'd like to get one bit of clarification and then um, provide a comment on the traffic uh, impact analysis that we received. The bit of clarification, one of the notes was show US 98 highway corridor buffer on the site plan and landscape plan. Um, are you talking about identify more closely the, or, or describe the landscape buffers or descriptor there? Or do you want us to put the 400 foot um, buffer because that, that falls off of, off of the property? So I just wanted to get some clarification on that. I can, I can get some clarification offline on that. And then to the uh, traffic analysis, the original traffic analysis didn't account for the background trips of the existing post office. When we got a revised analysis, it uh, showed that the, a turn lane was not warranted. However, uh, the developer is committed to put that turn lane in uh, anyway for the betterment of the traffic patterns on 98 and Church Street. So our revised submittal will, will include that. Uh, with that, any any questions I, I can answer? Did you find out if that's put Washington State Forest? Probably? It is, yes, sir. Okay. Uh, I apologize not giving you a call back sooner. Yeah, we uh, met but a while back and never heard back. Yes, sir. There's a little strip there um, on the east side of the property, on the west side of Church Street, that is not owned by the applicant or the or the you know the developer. That's actually state forest land. We were in talks with the mosquito control digital uh, mosquito control district to allow some maintenance on that side but we don't control that property it'll continue to be not maintained then by us yes sir. it's a county easement mosquito control prescriptive easement and state property yes sir uh, we understand that and, and we can't okay reach it that. once you put the parking lot in we can't reach it from that side i understand so. all right they ever consider giving that up they're um we have spoken with them about that yet and haven't gotten very far with those talks yet. So at this point, we can't commit to that. Um, we'd love to pick that piece up and be able to control it and be able to provide access for mosquito control to maintain that side of the ditch. But we're working on that, um, but we, we don't have a good answer for you today. <clears throat> Looks like one that uh, the state could declare a surplus. Yes, sir. Limited habitat potential there. Uh, and I think the uh, the comment about the scenic quarter buffer was the 25 feet. Okay, we have 18. 25 feet, but I'll, so a clarification on the label is what. what we need a label. Okay, no problem. Any other questions from the dais? Uh, this is a major development. We'll have a public hearing at Planning Commission and Board of County Commissioners. Um, is there anyone wishing to make a technical comment or ask a technical question at this time about this particular application? I have, I have one other quick question. Um, I have on my Seeing calendar that. calendar of events for approvals. Is next year's uh, meeting schedule going to remain consistent with what it was this year? Last time I looked, the next year's meeting dates weren't on the calendar so we're still looking at a planning commission january 10th if we can get everything turned back in and okay it'll have to go to drb first yes sir. um you plan on going to drb in january yes sir um, as soon as possible um DRB. probably planning commission in february <laughs> okay um any other questions for the guys uh, do we have a recommended motion, Bob? 
Yes, Mr. Chair, make a, uh, a recommendation to conditionally approve pending successful completion of the comments and move it to DRB for their review. Thank you, Bob. Do we have a motion of the dais? Motion. We have a motion. Do we have a second? Second. Motion and a second. Um, all in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed, likewise. Uh, this item will move to forward to the design review board. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Bob, uh, the next item, the number seven, Water Sound Origins Phase Four Plat. Uh, we had a request to remove that one from the agenda, so we'll do that. Um, and move to item number eight, Water Sound North Camp Creek DRI and PUD amendment. Um, reviewed by Renee Bradley. Renee, can you briefly introduce the board? Yes, sir. Um, this is going to be a major development order request, and if we can, we can uh, take the um, notice of proposed change first on the agenda item. Um, we'll be amending this by resolution. Let's see, um, the, um, they're requesting to amend the Water Sound North PUD and DRI. The project's located north and south of US Highway 98 on the eastern boundary of the county and identified by the parcel numbers in your packet. Um, the land uses in this project is based on the base sector plan, which is village center, town center, recreation, open space, long-term conservation, and coastal village one. Um, the applicant is requesting to do some amendments to clarify the open space and the conservation areas within the project as well as what's allowed by the current resolution and development order for the PUD to use an equivalency matrix to exchange resi uh, commercial units for residential or golf course for residential. Uh, staff has already received the uh, resubmittal on this project and it appears that it's meeting uh, the majority of the comments in which we've submitted to them. Uh, we did receive engineering comments and the comments was responded to on the recent middle yesterday as well. Uh, we are lacking school board recent middle because that was one of the things that we didn't request in the original pre-app and uh, as we went through this application, we feel that that's needed. So we'll be sending that to the um, school board as of today. And other than that, staff doesn't have anything else for the board. Thank you, Renee. Good morning, I'm David Smith with Interline Engineering and I'm uh, representing the St. Joe Company. And as Renee uh, uh, presented, this is an amendment to the Water Sound and Camp Creek DRI and PUD. And part of this approval is uh, there's an equivalency matrix that allows them to reallocate or modify the uses and that's what we're doing. And I did want to point out the open space and recreation areas are remaining the same as were originally approved in the DRI and PUD. And we did, uh, as Renee mentioned, already respond to the comments uh, yesterday. So. Uh, other than that, I'd be happy to answer any questions that you all may have. Thank you, David. Thank you. Um, any questions from the dais? David, I've got someone to talk to you outside of the meeting sometime. Okay. I can just give you a call if you'd like offline. Okay. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you, David. Okay. Thank uh, you. This will have public hearings at Planning Commission Board of County Commissioners. Um, at this time, we'll entertain any technical questions or comments related to this application. Any member of the audience wish to speak? Seeing none, um, we'll move to recommend a motion. We would like to have recommended a motion that this goes to the Planning Commission. We had uh, advertised this to go to December. However, based on the school board review, we're requesting that we continue from December to January Planning Commission, and we'll have the board hearing the same month. Motion. We have a second. Second. Motion and a second. Uh, any further discussion? All in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed, likewise. Uh, the NOTC is approved to move forward to Planning Commission. Uh, that moves us to item number eight, which is the DRI and PUD amendment companion project. Um, 
And this would be, uh, if we can, just vote on the PUD amendment for this uh, advertisement here. And uh, we're going to clarify that when we do the uh, Planning Commission and the Board add that we run the NOPC first and the PUD second. Kind of amend this ad a little bit. I think it'll make it clearer for us to do the vote. <coughs> But basically, we're looking exactly the same thing, except that, that we're amending the PUD as well as the DRI, but we're going to have to have a motion on that as well. Um, just one technical question. As we're moving to adopting new comp plan, future land use map, and new zoning map on December 11th, uh, are these categories consistent with what will become law before this gets approved? I would need to look at that, sir. I haven't looked at the new proposal on the land use map. Well, let's clarify that before we get to next week. I'm pretty sure Kristen's been working with Catherine on the land use changes. I know that we were going to a mixed use category on the DRI. So I'm, I'm pretty sure they've discussed this and are on the same. But what's in here currently is what's actually in the base sector plan um, as far as the advertisements. Yeah, and I don't think that was changing in. It hadn't changed at the time we did the ad, no, sir, but if we need to change it for planning commission and the BCC, we can do so. Yeah, let's just make sure that we're, we're consistent there. With I'll the, touch base with Kristen on that. On a separate track. Yes, sir. Uh, okay. Recommend a motion? Move forward to the planning commission January. Um, January 10th. We have motion of the diet. Motion. Second. Motion and a second. Um, any further discussion? All in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed, likewise? Hearing none, uh, this item is approved and moved forward to the Planning Commission. Thank you, Renee. Um, next item is number 10, the District 2 Commissioner's Office Trailer. Uh, we'll request to remove from agenda. Uh, we'll do that. And number 11, the Garth Garden Large Scale Amendment uh, has been reviewed by Tim Brown. Tim, if you could briefly introduce it to us. Yes, good morning. This is a large scale land use amendment application submitted by Corps Engineering requesting approval to change the future land use from coastal center to coastal center mixed use on 35.45 acres. They're, they're proposing with this land use change a mixed use development, which will include a through road from Highway 98 to, what is it, Fort Shore? Uh, they, Fort Shore's Walton Way. Yeah. Fort Shore's Walton Way. Um, I have not received any comments from FIRE or the school board. Otherwise, I have all the other comments, um, and I'll turn it over to the applicant. At Stanford with CORE, um, this is a uh, currently operating as a uh, executive par three golf course. Um, it's had development orders and PUDs in the past approved. Um, we are uh, requesting the coastal center mixed use to allow for a little more flexibility in what uh, the market conditions are currently um, and currently working with the county to enhance some uh, accessibility and circulation in that area of uh, Highway 98. This will allow us to uh, to achieve those things and um, we will be applying for a phase master plan approval uh, you know, following our approval as a uh, coastal center makes use if we get that. But. Um, of course, there's going to be a lot of technical review during that development order uh, process, and uh, but I'm here to ask, answer any questions you all may have uh, at this time. Thank you, Ed. Mm -hmm. um, any questions from the dives from this large scale amendment? Seeing none, uh, this will have a public hearing at Planning Commission and Board of County Commissioners. Um, this time, we'll take the opportunity to invite any. Um, que technical questions or technical comments related to this application from any member of the audience. Seeing none, we have a recommended motion, Tim. 
Yes, recommend uh, approval of the project pending resolution of all outstanding issues slash comments and moving forward to the Planning Commission. Thank you, Chair. Do we have a motion at the dial? So moved. Motion, we have a second. <coughs> second. Motion and a second. Um, any further discussion? All in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed, likewise? Hearing none, this item is approved to move forward to the Planning Commission. Uh, that brings us to <coughs> item number 12, the Greenway Station Technical Review. Major developments been reviewed by Tim Brown. If you can introduce the course, Tim. Yes, thank you. This is a major, well, this was previously approved as a conceptual PUD. Now this is the technical review. It's a major development order application submitted by Emerald Coast Associates requesting approval to develop 35 condominiums, 35,302 square feet of commercial use, and a 50 unit lodge on. 4.69 acres with the future land use of VMU and infill. It's located on the north side of 30A, of about 0.35 miles east of Eastern Lake Drive in the County Road 38 intersection. I do not have comments from fire or engineering. I did get comments from environmental and flood. And flood. Um, my planning comments are pretty minor. Um, I did get a comment from Public Works that they need additional time to review the improvements they're proposing in the 38 right of way. And with that, I'll turn it over to the applicant. Sean Humphrey, I'm with Associates. I'm just here to ask to continue to Planning Commission uh, for a vote um, upon request of the uh, comments. And Pretty substantial development that I haven't had a chance to look at yet. Okay. So I think we would continue to the next TRC meeting if that's a, what the board wishes to do. Okay. Uh, given the outstanding reviews, that's probably the best idea on this particular one. This is a, a um, fairly dense and intense development that combines lots of uses. Um, we've had conceptual approval, um, but this is where we cover all the details. Yes. Um, continuing okay with you, Sammy? Sure. I feel like I reviewed it's, this It's one, good with us. We need time to review some of their modifications in the right way. Um, we think this is good development. We just want to make sure we touch all the bases. Thank you. Um, do you have a recommended motion, Tim? Well, based on the conversation, I would recommend we continue it to the January TRC. This will be a major development reviewed at Planning Commission and Board of County Commissioners, but we'll take the opportunity to invite any technical comments from any member of the audience. Melissa? Melissa Ward with Dunlap and Chipman uh, on behalf of the uh, Summer's Edge subdivision. And yes, thank you. We would like for you to continue to January. There seems to be a little bit of deficiency in their application and possibly uh, needs a little more intense review. We'd also uh, like to meet with Tim to um, and uh, the planning director if necessary because I think that the final order that was issued by the board lacked some of the uh, stuff they discussed in their motion and we'll bring that up and uh, essentially that's it. We appreciate your time and also congratulations on your move and good luck on getting it all organized. <laughs> Thank you. We'll, we'll need all of that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah, recommended motion to continue um, to January 2nd. Um, TRC in this room at 8.30. So moved. Have a motion, we have a second. Second. Motion and a second. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed, likewise. Uh, Greenway session will continue to January TRC. Uh, item number 13 uh, is the surf style expansion request to approve by minor development order. It's been reviewed by Kelly Frommeyer. Kelly, if you could briefly introduce this one for us. Good 
Yes, sir. Good morning. <clears throat> this is a minor development order application submitted by Emerald Coast Associates on behalf of uh, 143 Scenic LLC requesting approval to construct an additional 8,903 square feet of retail space on an existing uh, surf style building. Um, this project will include the expansion of the current parking <coughs> lot um, and associated site infrastructure. Um, the uh, existing surf style building will occupy um, the new expansion space. It would be one continuous business. Um, and they are, uh, have acquired the lot to the west and so the, the um, project will be expanding onto an adjacent parcel. Um, there are um, I handed to Karen um, after the report was made. Um, we did receive additional comments from Public Works that has been sent to the applicant. Um, and we also, at this time, do not have uh, uh, South Walton Fire Review um, or comments from Mosquito Control. Um, most of the comments were pretty minor in, in nature. Um, however, the, the was a couple of comments um, from Public Works that may require some um, redesign. I'm not sure how the, the applicant wants to address that one. Shot number. Um, we don't really have any questions on the um, comments. It's pretty straightforward. We might have to do some revisions to the site plan. But other than that. What kind of trucks are going to deliver to this or they will primarily be U UPS, FedEx type trucks, not uh, 18 wheelers, but just the uh, delivery van, box truck. Um, this is a minor development. Um, I'll take the opportunity to invite any technical comments or questions from any member of the audience at this time. Uh, anybody wishing to make a technical comment or qu ask a technical question? Or in this particular case, this will be a public hearing, so we'll just open a public hearing. Anyone wish to make a comment of any kind related to this development? Um, seeing none, we'll close the public hearing since this is a minor development. Um, moving to final agency action once we satisfy comments. Um, any questions from the dais? Um, on the, uh, the county's comment about the stormwater being in the ICPAL area, I was just, I, I don't think you all had to design to the 100 year storm, but that may be something you can do to address that comment. You, there, you would have to meet the 100 year yeah, storm. That's there why we designed for the 100 year storm. Did you? I can't remember. Yeah. And, and it looks like you guys are, we just did a cursory because we don't really do the stormwater, but it looks like you guys are redirecting some of the historical flow now to the county right away. But we, we just want that in a written form exactly what kind of measures you guys are taking okay. to, um, I guess, avoid impacting the, the south subdivision as much yes. as possible. Yeah, because this area has stormwater and traffic issues. Uh, we got a request to revise traffic report also. Okay. okay. Yeah, and I think it's just you guys taking a guess at what the prop fair share would be as opposed to what it actually is. I mean, this, this area is pretty congested. There'll, there'll be some traffic fees associated with the project. Yes. So it's minor traffic comments for now. Um, we've got a number of comments. Most of them appear to be relatively minor. Do you see any concern with addressing any of those? What was that? We have a large number of comments. Yes. Most are relatively minor. Do you see any issue? No, I don't see an issue with 
colleagues are addressing them. Uh, staff recommends that the project move forward to receive a minor development order once resubmittal confirms that all comments have been satisfied. Thank you, Kelly. Do we have a motion of Scott? Motion. We have a motion. Do we have a second? Second. Motion and a second. Any further discussion? Seeing none, all in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed, by quiet. Hearing none, this item not aye. We move forward to development order subject to satisfaction of outstanding uh, comments. That brings us to item number 14, the Seacrest Beach Greenways and Land Use Reallocation. Uh, it's been reviewed by Vivian Chamel, who is not with us today. Uh, Bob, are you standing in for Vivian this morning? Yes, sir. Um, why don't we let the applicant introduce this one? Good morning, my name is Phil Williams, Providence One, and I'd uh, like to just like to answer any questions you may have. Is this the one where we previously reviewed the stormwater modifications, or is this the actual middle of those stormwater? Uh, the stormwater stuff we've done out there before was just around the lagoon and amphitheater area where their big swimming pool is and That's where right. there's an existing. But this is completely it's separate. separate. Yeah, this is going to be a whole new deal. We're not building anything with this. This is just a planning type thing. Uh, any of the items that are proposed to be constructed in the future, those will be separate development orders. So there will be stormwater plans and you know, all sorts of stuff. like to point out that uh, Bill has done a tremendous amount of research on this particular project. Uh, it's very complex. Um, we got an interface between two large developments, um, a, a greenway corridor um, that meets a, a number of different components of the Comprehensive Plan Land Development Code, uh, along with uh, some open space, and you're looking to reallocate the greenway portions and the open space portions. Um, while still maintaining the preservation that's required. Yes, sir, that's it. And we did have one comment from planning. Vivian's not here this morning, but uh, she had emailed me this. But um, I don't know if y'all, did y'all, have y'all seen that one in the report? It's very minor, but uh, she wanted a little statement uh, providing clarity, a little short paragraph to verify the existing amount of acreages of the common area in Greenway uh, before and after this request. So we have done that. We made an addendum number one to our statement of intent, and we've uploaded that onto the portal. And it's simply just two sentences. The existing and resulting total acreages of greenway and open space remain unchanged at 12.7 acres of greenway and 0 0.86 acres of open space. Please see plan set sheet 5010 for a detailed map of site. I think that will adequately address that. Uh, do we have any other questions from the dais? Um, this is a minor development and we'll take the opportunity to open a public hearing and invite any questions or comments related to this particular application from any member of the audience at this time. Uh, seeing none, we'll move forward with recommended motion. Bob? Um, make a recommendation to conditionally approve pending um, resubmittal and the DO being issued. Thank you, Bob. Do we have a motion at the dais? Motion. We have a motion. We have a second. Second. Motion and a second. Any further discussion? All in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed, likewise. Hearing none, uh, this item is approved and moved forward to development order subject to satisfaction of outstanding comments. Thank you very much for all the, the deep research that you've done in this particular development. And I'll speak to that. I'd really like for everybody to recognize that that's the best one that uh, NPTA, we can buy the only person about the lot that we're expecting this effort to do, and we will uh, PCA is going to break the law and get all the good. That's all we need. Thank you for those comments. 
comments. Uh, we concur with that. Um, that is our agenda this morning. Um, we will have our January meeting in this room. Um, there's lots of construction going on around us and hopefully that won't impact us too much. Um, but at some point we'll be moving this technical review committee uh, meeting to a new um, small boardroom that's in the same building as our new planning office. Um, that will possibly occur as early as February, but may not be until March. Um, because they will be renovating this room to make it larger to accommodate our growing population in South County. Um, having no further business, uh, we have a motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Second. Second. All in favor, please say aye. Aye. aye.